Hey guys, my name is Jessica. I'm a realtor in Spring Branch, Boulevardy, San Antonio Hill Country area. And I'm currently in my car and I wanted to show you some fun things to do in Spring Branch and Boulevardy. And I will tell you Spring Branch and Boulevardy are growing fast. It is definitely more of like a rural, I always say that word terribly, but yeah, there's, there's not much yet. It is developing fast, but it is definitely, I've seen a lot of new construction, but also people who have older homes here have a lot of land. So it seems like there's not a lot of people living here, but there's really a good amount of people living here. So I am going to take you to a few spots that I love in the area. So there is one thing to know about this area. There is no Target. Um, there's only an H-E-B, a Walmart, and like I said, it's growing, so it may change, but right now that's all we got. So I'm gonna show you that center. It is in between 281 and 46. So this is basically the hub of stuff that you would go to to buy. There's some. Whataburger. And this is where Walmart's going to be. Down in the center, there is a Chili's. Down that way, Walmart gas station. Just driving down. A little Mexican cafe right there. So the Walmart is right here. It's a pretty big one, a ton of cars. This is like where you would get most of your stuff because there is no Target or anything like that. Uh, Taco Bell, discount tire. Panda, well my son does. So we were at Panda last night. So you got Panda. Like I said, a lot of new development. Uh, an IHOP's coming in. Jimmy John's, Shipley's Donuts, Verizon, Wingstop, Nails, Hair. I mean, you really have a lot of stuff here. You just don't have a Target. That's really, like, they put a Walmart instead. And then if you go across the street, there's more stores. There's an AutoZone. That's where the HEB is. There's a Starbucks. And there is also a Home Depot over that way and a tractor supply. So think of this area as the place where you would go shopping. So I just got to the Guadalupe State Park. It was, and it was $7 to get in. And now I'm gonna show you around. So this map you can see is just, it's huge, this place. So I just chose a trail and I'm gonna take you along. So here's the map on like a better scale. Oh, and this trail is actually closed for conditions, so you have to go down by the water. So you can, let me turn the music down, so you can actually bring your camper here and camp and really enjoy the Guadalupe River. But right now I'm still just driving down, that trail is closed, so I'm gonna keep going and see what I find. So there is a little Discovery Cove. I think this is for kids. So this takes you down to the water. The water is really low right now, but you can kind of see. And this is right by the Discovery Center, I think it said. So we're going to walk down here. And then the water is down this way. Here you can see the view. You can see the rocks and the water. Uh, Texas is currently in a drought, so that's why you see the water so low. Normally it would be a lot higher. There are benches, barbecue, so you can bring your food and grill and just hang out on the water. You can swim in here, and it isn't moving that much, the water, so normally there would be way more river flowing, but it is really beautiful here. Just walking on the trail next to the river right now because all the other trails are closed currently. This is a really good representation of the river. So I was here showing you this area. <laughs> like out of breath, sorry. But yeah, it goes for a really long time. Here is the Discovery sign I mentioned earlier. I'm gonna go see what's inside. This is so cute. Braxton would die for this. 
can't enter here. So I just left that little discovery center. It is super cute. If you have a toddler, definitely go there. Or even a child like under eight, I think would enjoy it. But it's small, so keep that in mind. But I did talk to a few of the rangers in there. And if you saw the water earlier, it is really low. And I asked, do you think it's safe to swim in the water? And they said, use your best judgment. One of the women was pregnant and she was saying I wouldn't. And I think a good rule of thumb is, it was the water moving. And this water's not moving very much. So she said to use your discretion, but I would say no until the water levels go up a little bit. So in regards to that, I would be using Guadalupe River right now, State Park for trails, Discovery Center. There's so much nature. I saw deer. Uh, the season's changing right now. It's about to get into fall. So it'll be way better for hiking. Temperatures are cooling down here, but yeah, once we get some more rain and these water levels go up. This is, my son is three and a half and he would just love this place. We would spend all day here for okay. sure. Now I'm gonna show you two food places to eat. This is also off 46. I have Screaming Goat right here and then Antler Cafe on the other side and I'll show you what those look like. I go to Screaming Goat a lot. I love their strawberry fried chicken salad, but I'm gonna go try the Antler Cafe today and I'll show you what those look like. This is Screaming Goat. This is the restaurant and outside area, and they actually have goats back there. They have an area for live music. I'm gonna walk over and show you the goats. Yeah, so there's actually goats here that you can hear screaming. You can hear them right now. <laughs> Literally right across the street is the Antler Cafe. That's 46. And this place is jumping right now. It's considered true Texas food is what their sign is. Good Texas food. So we'll see. Lots of parking. That's the restaurant. And they actually have an outdoor playground, which is pretty cool. You can eat and have your kids play. <laughs> I just got done eating at Antler Cafe, by far my favorite place in Spring Branch. It is truly a Texas vibe. I mean, they had frog legs on the menu. It's just some good Texas food. And it was so affordable. I got a whole plate, that plate that I just shared, for $12. Like, what? <laughs> so good. Their chicken had like garlic on it. All the waitresses were nice. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's where it's at for sure.